hey, what's going on? Thank you so much for helping out with this project. Uh, it's really exciting. I wanted to give a little bit of a idea of what exactly it is that you're doing. I know that you came up, came on this kind of last minute and you kind of just, you know, just said yes. And I really appreciate you uh, just kind of jumping on board with me for this. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. I just want to be the first thing I say in this message. But uh, the way that this company, um, Cows and Vision Care, okay, uh, will be operating is unlike anything you've ever experienced before because it's at least it's anything that I've never experienced before. And I want to convey that to you that the number one thing, because I'm on your side, it's not like I'm not... Uh, you know, it's not like I'm some optical owner somewhere or some OMD somewhere, you know, like I understand what it is that makes, um, you know, ODs happy and I want to do everything I can to make this the best experience for working that you've ever had. And I am really happy that I've been able to do it with my friends. So thank you so much for just jumping on board with this without even knowing much, just kind of like a random phone call and here gave me all this stuff and getting it all back to me. I really, really, really appreciate it. Thank you. Going forward, um, there's, I mean, we pull this whole thing together in probably a week, um, maybe even a little less than a week. And so I'm, um, bear with us in the beginning. We're ironing out the kinks. I'm going to do all that I can to make this as smooth and as uh, seamless for you as possible. I want to make your job easy as possible. I want to make you as much money as I can. I want to make sure you have uh, as little doubt going forward as possible. So that's why I actually made this video. We're actually making this video from my office over here in Burnside is because I wanted to explain what exactly is we're doing. Um, Basically, the nutshell is that um, I've been very fortunate to acquire a contract that has hundreds of patients that need to be seen before December 31st. Now, this is the project at hand, and the numbers of the patient load is just more than I ever could have imagined. Um, but they, there's a definitive timeline, so I'm actually, you know, that, that's why there's, you know, you and others that are working on this project with me, because... I I can't do it all myself at all. And and it's better that way because that way I can just kind of share the wealth. And um, I, so what we're doing is we're basically doing a glaucoma screening. Now, I've never built this code before. I actually had to do research on myself. I actually sent you a Google Doc that explained what it is that this code does. And the code is GO117. And it's a Medicare code, actually, which um, we're using an ICD-9V. 80.1, which is a visual screening code, and the, the code type is Q. Um, you won't have to know any of this stuff because I want to handle all the billing for you, but basically all it is is a glaucoma screening. It's a glaucoma screening that has two requirements, okay, for eligibility. It actually has three requirements for eligibility and two exam requirements. So the, the requirements for eligibility are diabetics, anyone who has a family history of, of glaucoma, and people who are African American, age 50 and older. Uh, these are the high risk population. Uh, it's diabetics, people with history of glaucoma, or African American, uh, 50 years or older. I mean, it's not difficult to prove that on an exam. Um, um, almost everyone we see is going to be diabetic, so that's not a problem. And and if they're not, you know, diabetic, they most likely can have a history of glaucoma in the family we ask enough, or they're going to be African-American and 50 and older. So there's almost no one that we're going to see that won't meet those requirements. As well as the uh, exam goes, uh, the exam has two requirements. It's very simple. It's a dilated exam with IOP measurement. So basically, you walk into the room, introduce yourself, you're going to... Um, drop them right away, take a quick little anterior seg, you know, make sure everything's okay, uh, dilate them, um, and uh, n notate that you dilated them, and then it's either direct ophthalmoscopy or slit lamp BIO. If you have a hand sl handheld slit lamp and you want to go for it, hey, go for it with the 98, hey, whatever you want. Um, but a panoptic should work just fine, okay? Um, as well as a, uh, what else we got here? 
and that's it. I mean, those are the, just the two criteria. I mean, it's really that simple. We're dilating, we're looking inside, we're checking with pressures with, uh, with the Perkins or turtle, turtle pen, and that's it. So, um, I mean, it should take no longer than, you know, the longest part is going to be waiting for the dilation drops to work, and you don't have to obviously wait for the whole dilation drops to work to look inside, whatever you need to do to, in order to see the fundus. Okay, uh, we're going to document uh, what you saw and, you know, a quick little anterior seg. A little chief complaint, I have acquired a bunch of samples of Blink that I can give you. I'm going to get some bags and just give you guys that. Um, and uh, that's it. So, um, the... All the details, um, oh, here we go. I'm setting up paperwork for you guys. Okay, I'm setting up paperwork for you. It looks like this. Uh, this is the billing sheet. It's already highlighted about what it is that it needs. Um, you don't have to even worry about that. Well, I guess just circle it. Just tell me the diagnosis. Um, it's going to be V80.1, and if it's not written on there, just write V80, V80. Point one, and then here's my little exam form. There's a hell of a lot of more information on here than you actually need, okay? But it's as thorough as you want to be. So that's the task at hand. Please be in touch with me. Communicate with me. Let me know what it is that you you know have in, on your mind, and we're gonna make this work. All right. Uh, uh, that's it. We'll talk soon. I want to have more communication like this. It's just easier for me. Talk to you later. Bye.